Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and I've got another factoring problem. Factor the polynomial below, and just like I've been doing since this is a multiple choice problem, I'm going to use the guess and check method and kind of work backwards. So I'll remind you that factoring is a whole lot like dividing. It's uh, taking um, a number or an expression, pulling out uh, and dividing out its uh, parts, um, kind of breaking it down that way. So the opposite of factoring is multiplying. And so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just guess. Um, let's guess that it might be answer A, and I'm going to multiply out this expression. You can see that I have one big ugly number multiplying with another big ugly number by the fact that those parentheses are shoved together. So I'm going to do that multiplication. I'm going to simplify that expression and see if I, when I simplify it, it doesn't come out uh, to what I have above. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Again, I will remind you, just like in the last video, that this skill that I'm doing right here is known as multiplying binomials. So if you don't have that background info, you might want to go watch a video just on multiplying binomials. But that's what I'm doing here. So x times x is x squared. 2x is multiplying. x times a positive 4 is a positive 4x. Uh, and now I'm done passing out the first term in the parentheses. Now I'll pass out the second term. Remember to take its sign with it. This is not a minus 6 when I'm multiplying. I think of it as a negative 6. So negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And negative 6 times positive 4 is negative 24. Now I'm almost done, but remember that if you can combine any like terms, that's what we call adding and subtracting in algebra, combining like terms. If you can do any of the addition or subtraction, you can do it. And I sure can there. I have some like terms. I have an x term and another x term. They'll go together. So if I have positive 4x and negative 6x, I will end up with negative 2x minus 24. So when I multiplied out this expression and simplified it, did I end up with what I expected up above? No, I sure didn't. Even though my first term and my last term are good, my middle term here does not match. Uh, the, I had negative 10x up here. I've got negative 2x down there. So A is not a good guess. So what I'm going to do here is I am just going to rule out uh, choice A. So let's erase all this work here so we don't get too messy. And let's rule out choice A. And now let's try what if it was, maybe it's B. Maybe it's B. Let's take a look. X times X gives me X squared. That looks good. X times negative 4 gives me negative 4X. Now I've passed out my X. Time to pass out my next term, negative 6. Negative 6 times X is negative 6X. And negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24. A negative times a negative is a positive. Now this is looking good at first. I have my x squared term. My negative 4x and my negative 6x combined to be negative 10x just like I wanted. But notice I have a positive 24. I needed something that would come to a negative 24. Signs are important. B, even though it's close, did not work either. You really have to be good with your signs in order to do these skills. You know, have to know what happens when you multiply and divide with integers, when you add and subtract with integers. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. Again, I'm going to just multiply this out to see if it simplifies to the expression above. So x times x is x squared. Uh, x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Negative 12 times x is negative 12x. And negative 12 times negative 2 is positive 24. You've got to be good with signs. You cannot be messy. So I get an x squared. Combining the like terms in the middle there, I get negative 14x plus 24. Oh, this one has an incorrect middle term and an incorrect last term. It's definitely not C. Now, you guys, I really hope it's D, because if it's not, I screwed something up. Either when I wrote my problem or when I was working my problem. But let's take a look and just confirm here. So x times x is x squared. x times positive 2 would be positive 2x. Uh, negative 12 times x is negative 12x. And negative 12 times positive 2 would be negative 24. Remember, then that first act, we call it foiling sometimes, but what I'm doing is multiplying, so all my numbers multiplied. Now I'll finish up to see if I can add or subtract. Combine like terms is what we call adding and subtracting. And I see those two like terms, they can add and subtract. 
So nothing will happen with my first term, but positive 2x minus 12x will give me negative 10x. Ooh, that looks good. And then, of course, I have that negative 24. And take a look at that. All three terms match the expression above. It must be D. Wonderful. Okay, so that's my little cheat method uh, for guessing and checking when you've been asked to factor. Again, it's not that hard to learn to factor. It just takes a while because there's so many different types of factoring. Um, so uh, that's why I use the cheat method for my GED students. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comic comments and I'll do my best to answer it.